So I had a little bit of a play around. It didn't work out. Hello guys and welcome to Dreaming is Possible here with Chesterfield. Yes, as you can see, our unbeaten run has come to an abrupt end with the game against Stevenage. I decided to play around and give some of the youngsters like a bit of a run out. Um, and um, yeah, um, just before we get into that though, we are going to be in the FA Cup in today's episode. Yes, we got through against um, Chorley, so we are in the second round, got drawn against Rochdale. We got that and we got Northampton um, in today's episode. But yeah, to give you an idea of the... The lineup um, going into um, that um, Stevenage game, as you can see here, it was um, players that you probably don't even recognise. Some of you will because some of you are actually these players. So the likes of Harry Marsden is a person out there watching. Thank you very much, Harry. Um, we've also got um, um, Jeff Richard as well. Thank you very much um, as well. You came on. Um, yeah, like I say, like you know, just literally was trying to give players um, a bit of a run out. Didn't too too bad. We lost two one in the end. Um, I think it was a bit harsh when you look at like the stats and stuff like that. And when they got their goal, yes, 90th minute. Um, yeah, but if we'd have got a draw out of it, it'd been pretty good. It's not a big deal. Like I say, we are still we're still top. Um, so there's no there's no problem. We are only three points though top. Like you know what I mean, clear. But we are pretty pretty clear of like you know crew in fourth spot because we we beat them as any of you would just notice there. Like you know what I mean, we beat them five nil. Yes, um, Doncaster we beat four nil um, in the um, EFL trophy the leasing.com and um, which puts us through to the next round of that we've got through in the groups of that like and as you can see manchester united under 23s top the group but we go through um is in in second spot so talking of the leasing.com and the and the second round yeah it's 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 appeared like so i think so um let's um let's see who um, who we get and it's going to be fleetwood um so yeah a league one side um fleetwood that we're going to be facing and we'll see how we how we do um so here is the two lineups um going into this we've got theo robinson up top we've got poku and anderson out on the wings rowley's going to play in the cam they've got weight and um, Traore is the two midfielders then we've got Havigam, back Sorensen, yarny sullivan yarny with the captain's armband and collington will be in goal for this one against a 4-1 2-3 um, formation um, against Rochdale. Can we get revenge like after last time? Um, that's that's the question. Um, yeah. So that's what I say today. I've told them go out there and exact revenge, like you know what I mean, against Rochdale and see if we can do that. We are at home, and hopefully our home fans will get behind us and give us that boost. To we are a better side than when we played Rochdale last time. We've got a lot of better players in the side, but we'll see how um, how this goes as an early attempt there. So Anderson picks this up, plays this ball forward. Robinson, just back from an injury himself, like so it'd be good to get him back on the score sheet if we can in this one. Ashley Seal, though, has filled in really well in his absence and has picked up three hat-tricks in his absence, so that is pretty good from Ashley. And you'll be probably a little bit disappointed not to start this one, but I wanted Theo in, you know, wanted, like, our possible best strongest side to be like you know competing because it'd be nice to get like i say into that third round there's a chance as we whip this one into the box yanni's got there and somehow the keeper's not able to keep that out and um our, our captain yosef yanni has managed to um get that into from a great ball in from anderson from this um free kick great ball gets on it and oh the keeper was just late to react he did get a hand to it but he was just late to react and get down and luckily for us it's gone in and Yanni gives us that one goal to nil lead at half time yeah there we are at half time Rochdale yes to get a shot on target um but we are we are pretty much doing really well like you know I mean, we're dominating um in that first half can we keep it going in the second Rochdale again Trying to get something. I think they're trying to just get a shot on target. I think as soon as they get one on target, it will be a goal. I think that is that the first one they've got on target now? Well, they've managed to get a few on. They managed to get a few on target now, which is a bit worrying. So I'm just going to make um, a couple of changes. I'm going to bring Ashley Seal on because um, obviously Theo was in just coming back from injury and he's, he's in great form at the moment. So we've done that. Switched Anderson and Poku round to um, the different wings and also brought on um, Waits to give him a run out in, in midfield to give him his first debut. Um, yeah, I brought him through from the eight, under 18s. This is what he looks like. Um, not too bad. <laughs> not too bad at all. So yeah, um, we'll, we'll give him a run out and see how he, how he gets on. So we're into the final 10 minutes now. We're leading by a goal to nil. Another goal should surely seal it for us if we can get it as 
Solomon throws that into Poku. Can he get the ball into the box? Poku now back to Solomon. Uh, when the two of them together just didn't get a ball into the box and this is a breakaway now for Rochdale if they can get it out to the other wing but they've actually gone back which has given us a chance to get behind the ball here they go though still down this side here's Lang into Ryan and now Rathbone it's a good chance here I've got a feeling that Rochdale are going to nick one if we're not careful Habigan just comes surging in there just clears that one away and it looks like we're going to do it. We are going to do it. Well, it was a bit of a nervy one. It was a 1-0, but I think we totally deserved it with 19 shots, 10 of them being on target. But Rochdale, yeah, you could tell. I mean, they're, they are a league up from us. You could kind of tell that there was, you know, um, yeah, it's it, we, we got through just, um, even though like the, the, the stats say otherwise. But yeah, we are through, and that's the main thing. We're into the third round, guys, which is which is awesome. Hopefully we can get one of the big boys. That'd be great. So then, um, for today's second game is going to be Northampton back in the League Two. Um, hopefully, we can bounce back from that Stevenage defeat, but I think we should do no problem. Um, like I say, it was the youngsters that went out against Stevenage, um, so we should be fine against Northampton. Saying that though, you just don't know confidence and stuff can it can it have an effect. Right then, it's time for the FA Cup third round. It's always a big occasion, the third round draw, isn't it? Because it's when like the Premier League sides like come into it, like they like, see who we get. Then, um, yeah, we're going to draw them out and just see like you know which you know when it comes to like you know i'll go fairly quick until we get to like you know like our team or whatever but we might come out like you know like you know straight away but um you can see oh that's a big one never put chelsea straight out of the out the out the, out the um out the traps as it were manchester United, preston that's the lead oh here we go we're at home that's a good thing home support who do we get though West Ham, so we have got a Premier League side, um, so yeah, West Ham are coming to Proact Stadium, um, that's going to be a big, big game, like, you know what I mean, hopefully if West Ham don't put out a strong side, they don't, you know, feel that, you know, they, they would have to, and then that way we can maybe, like, you know, trip them up and be a giant killer, so that is who we have got, so we'll draw all the rest of the teams, like, you know what I mean, because that was the new, obviously, that's who we were interested in, so you can have a, a quick look down, see if, you, if, if any of your teams are there, like, you know what I mean, to give you an idea of, of, of your team, like, that, that might happen to be in there, but, um, yeah, that's, um, yeah, Chesterfield, West Ham, right, anyway, back to today, Northampton, Right, so here are the two lineups going into the game against Northampton. We are at home for this one. We've got Theo Robinson up top, Poku and Anderson out on the wings, patching just in between those two. Then we've got um, Waits, yes, going to start, like, you know what I mean, this one. And then we've got Scully behind him. Habigan, Bexoris and Yanni Taylor is going to start as well at right back. Going to give um, the, the youngster a, a run out at right back. And then Vickers is back in goal um, against a 4-2-3-1 formation coming in from Northampton. Let's see if we can um, get um, back to winning ways in the league after obviously that defeat to Stevenage. Right, so after our defeat, uh, our defeat, no it wasn't our defeat, our defeat of, I say, maybe of Rochdale, like you know I mean, in the FA Cup. Um, we are back to the league now as we take on Northampton. We've got a, a decent draw in the FA against um, West Ham. Um, that's going to be a very, very good game. We'll probably have that one as a live one. Yanni now with a chance there as it falls here to Poku. It knocks it back to Habigan. Surging into the box this is a great run and it's somehow gone in there. I don't think that was what Habigan was planning on doing because it's actually gone in as an own goal. And yeah, Scott Wooten has um, put that into his own net. As we can see it better here, like on 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 three D, as Poku lays it back here to Habigan, he drives into the box here, looks to try and find someone, hits it, but it hits like the sort of, I'd say maybe the shoulder of like Watton doesn't know much about it, and neither does the keeper because it's like, whoa, I didn't expect that one to go in, and yeah, we are leading maybe fortuitously um, by a goal to nil. Always an own goal is always fortunate, fortuitous in it, like you know what I mean. So. But here's a chance now as Anderson is surging into the box and he hits it straight to the barns. Talking of Anderson, we might be losing him in January. Yes, his agent has been in touch and he feels that his player is uh, um, too low a level, um, which is affecting his international... Um, chances or whatever like sort of thing. So, um, yeah, we might end up losing him. Um, don't want to, like, you know what I mean? But 
I thought when we when we signed him, he was way above like you know what I mean the, 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 this this league. Uh, yeah, but we got him for free. So um, yeah, the fact that we were paying his wages, I think it was it was the key factor. But if we can get like, quite a bit of money for him, then that'll help. You know what I mean towards our transfer kitty, and we could maybe bring in some quality players. There's a chance for him, and he's just like put it in the back of the net, um, right on cue as he gets his eleventh goal of the season for us. But Lucas Anderson could be going in January as a possibility, which is a shame. But he is he is definitely. A, I'd say he's probably championship level. Um, you know what I mean? Maybe low level Premier League. You could probably even say like you know what I mean? A standard he's at. I just think um, we just just got him at the right time like and i mean like i say it was just one of those ones where i managed to like you know look around he was a freebie put in a bid wasn't expecting to get him ended up getting him and um yeah he's done fantastically well for us even if it might be just for half a season then you know we'll take it but here's a chance now for northampton to get back here and to pull one back as warburton plays this across and that's a Whisker, whisker past the post there from from Harriman, I think it was. So it looks like we're going to be missing Zia Robinson for the remainder of the game. Or, or I'm not going to do it just now. Like I said, I'll wait till half time now, and we'll make that change. We are dominating with regards to shots and stuff. It would be nice if we were leading by maybe three or four goals. <laughs> but there we go. So it's the straight swap for um, Theo Robinson. Ashley Seal will come on and just um, keep it going, lads. That's basically what I've told them. Let's um, let's keep it going. Second half. Here we go. Anderson whips this in far stick. And is it Scully, I think, that's got on the end of that one? No, it's actually Joseph Yarny. I could just see Scully's name, but Yarny must have been just behind him. Like, And, yeah, it seems to be like getting a few lately as the captain or vice captain of the club you know what I mean but Buchanan doesn't get as many games like you know what I mean the 34 year old so I think Yarny will become like captain next season anyway because I think Buchanan's like contracts at the end of this season so, and I'm not going to bother renewing it at 34 years of age here comes Havigan now as he's surging down this left hand side can he get the ball in he can it's come across and there's a penalty as Ashley Seal has been nudged in the back I think that said Chance for Ashley Seal now to score after coming on as a substitute. And it's no, he's not. He's been denied by Barnes. Good save from the keeper. Havigan fires this one in. It's come out to Scully. Anderson, Ashley Seal to make up for that penalty. And he's no, his confidence is shot a little bit. And he heads it over. Another chance here for Northampton. Scully, though, tries to win the ball, but he's giving it away. And there it is. I think it was coming. I think Northampton, you know, they were having it was quite a few highlights were coming their way. Even though, like, I mean, the amount of attempts that we've had is 26, but I just I, I just had a look there. But it just felt as though Northampton were going to get a goal here. Scully, it was just, it was a bit crap that in his, his attempt to, like, clear it. He, he hits it straight at the player. Then he, like, just hits it off down the field and not even looking where he's hitting it. Um, but, yeah, not, not brilliant from Scully, that was. Maybe he needed Mulder to help out. <laughs> so I decided to take um, Scully off um, just, just because of what I've just seen. And Drissa Traore will come on a great, great replacement. Um, did I say something about Yoni? He's going to look to be get sub exhausted out there and needs to be coming off. Oh, right, okay. So it's a straight swap. Issa Solomon will come on for Joseph Yoni. I don't know why he suddenly become exhausted. He was fine. But um, yeah, that's all three subs made. We are leading here by... Oh, we've got an injury. Anderson's injured. We've made all our... No, we've not made all our changes because... Have we? Yeah, we have. We've made all our changes. What do we do? Well, he can't... St what? What happens now? Just because Anderson's taken off injured. Well, okay. Uh, well, we'll just drop Ashley Seal over here. And we'll just not play with a striker for the last five minutes or so. We're winning 3-1. I think that's probably what we'll have to do. I think that game's fine with that. But yeah, that's a bit of a blow that we picked up that injury just as we made the change. But we'd have had to have made the change on, on Yarny anyway. He was looking knackered. He was like 60%. But here's a, a chance now as Fernandez is surging forward here. And we needed Vickers there to make that save as Havigan now um, clears up. But that should be enough now as we go into injury time. We should get all, all three points here. 37 attempts we had in there. We were massively dominant where it comes to attacking. But unfortunately, only 13 of them on target, which is not good. Yeah, that's just a complete and utter disparity in it. Like, I mean, in the fact that um, that game was like closer than what it should have been when, wow, the amount of attempts that we've managed to create but not be able to like finish is a bit, bit 
you know, upsetting in, in that regard. Um, I'm wondering how these injuries are, though. So, I mean, we are now top. We are, well, we still were top. We are six points clear. Morsel must have um, slipped up. Where are they? They did. Scunthorpe actually beat them. Well, there we go. Scunthorpe, when they played us, beat us. And when we were down the, near the bottom, and then they've beaten Walsall as well. Scunthorpe seem to be better at like beating the top teams than they do the teams around them. But they have managed to get themselves out of the relegation. But um, yeah, um, it's, it's kind of weird how they do that. Uh, let's see the injuries, though. Uh, Lucas Anderson is out for four to five weeks. So that's a blow. Um because that could be the last time that we see him. Depends on, like, you know, if he goes in January. So that's a blow. And, well, at least Theo's only out for one to three days. So that's something. But just while we're on this page anyway, as you can see, Theo Robinson and Lucas Anderson are leading the way in the goals. And as for the average ratings, as you can see, we are absolutely dominating when it comes to the average ratings. And, um, yeah, Lucas Anderson out on top with the assists. But we've got, like, players, like, you know, chasing up behind him. So, yeah, looking really good when it comes to the average ratings and stuff like that of, of, of the players. But there we are, guys. That is today's episode done and dusted as um, we get through in the FA Cup to the third round where we will face West Ham. We continue or get back to winning ways in, with a win over Northampton and it gives us now a six points in jump above Walsall. And, yeah, I think we'll have Walsall... In tomorrow's episode and that way we'll see if we, can, if we can beat them we'll give us a nine point gap at the top of the table which will be like huge but if you have enjoyed today's episode guys thank you very much one of those would be massively appreciated and um, please go ahead and subscribe if you're new to the channel and go and hit the bell notification as well so you don't miss the um, video when they goes up so yeah like tune in tomorrow guys for yeah uh, no games in between it's going to be straight in so it's fleetwood um, of league one um, in the EFL or leasing.com trophy and then we will face Walsall in the top of the table clash to see if we can get that six point gap um, above them right anyway I'll let you guys go and I'll catch you tomorrow it's day from me Mongo Gaming signing off cheers